bit windy today. Uh, we came back early because we've had to leave the boat somewhere because all the floodlocks are shut. So um, back in Sheffield a little bit earlier than we had planned. So I thought I'd test out the HLT. This is the HLT. Uh, just to explain, in the bottom there I used a Burco uh, replacement Burco heating element because the bit at the back bottom there is flat. The only worry I had was am I actually managing to get a good seal on there? Well actually yes, surprisingly. Uh, we had fun tightening it up yesterday uh, but it has sealed. This is the Herms coil. Down there is where the um, Thermo, well that's the Thermo well, that's where the probe will go, PT100. Uh, a little bit of improvisation has taken place. Got a piece of 15mm outside diameter Perspex tube, a tap fitting, and then just onto the bulkhead fitting. So that's good, that will still need calibrating. The only leak I managed to get was from, oops, sorry, was from here. Uh, and that was easily fixed. Uh, and I will call that now Dundid. What I will do maybe tomorrow when I've um, wired it up and checked that it's safe, I'll be fire it up for the first time. I'll just wire a PID in basically sort of without installing it because I haven't built a control panel yet but yeah there we have our hot liquor tank works a treat and has cleaned up really well if you just saw, <laughs> if you've seen this when we dragged it out of the canal it was um well as you can see been hit by a boat a few times by the look of it and yeah it was in a right old state but I'm not going to call this commercial waste or industrial waste, which is what technically it should be called when you put it out of a canal. Right, for me, this is a, a perfectly serviceable stainless steel hot liquor tank. Now this is the um, other side of the replacement Burko heater. As you can see, there would have been a thermocouple, well there is a thermocouple, under there but we don't need sorry it's make it be easy to see we don't need the thermocouple what we need basically is just to connect to that and that uh, now obviously helpfully it's not threaded so I'm gonna have to solder onto there what I have done is we've got this ready here and the most important bit is this so it's crimped and soldered that's the earth so that goes on to this here and then I'm going to solder these on as much as I can and then I'm going to put a strain relief and cover that over with a plastic cap <laughs> from I don't know what it's from something or other uh, so that then fits perfectly onto here and then ooh, I'm going to seal it around here with this stuff. Now, this is really high temperature. It's what you'd use for um, sticking around a, a wood burning stove or whatever. But it's also it's gluey and sealy and ting. Um, so that will then hold that cap on there. This then comes back here to strain relief and at the moment all I've got oops is a plug on end it will have the 16 amp plug when it's all connected up this is purely to test it so get that soldered on get a slightly better view of it here and that is what I am now about to try and solder onto. Uh, it will solder onto there. Uh, but I've just had to put the largest soldering 
bit I currently have, and I'm cranking this up to, I think about 480, what's it, have a look, 480, yeah, that will go up to 480 in the fullness of time, uh, and I'm going to use lead solder, because uh, it's got a slightly lower melting point, so I'm hopefully going to flood that with solder, and I guess a good connection. Well, that was a lot easier than <laughs> soldering headers onto a Raspberry Pi Zero. And yes, we have a very, very good solid joint on here. In fact, probably better than most of the... Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, hang on. Thank God for the pause button. Um, yeah, good. The important one is this one, because this is the earth. And this, if you don't know anything about electrics, this is the one that saves your life. <laughs> um, all this is going to be on a breaker, it's going to be RCD anyway. All that sort of stuff doesn't matter. If one of the lives, it doesn't really matter which of these, because it's, yeah, comes into contact with the metal and you touch the metal, then the electric goes from there, through the metal, through you, and uh, things like your heart stops and stuff like that. But if it notices... Uh, something coming back for the earth then all trips and triggers and saves you a little old life uh, and sometimes people say oh aren't you a little bit paranoid about safety and I said no I'm not paranoid about safety I'm alive uh, which having worked in the music industry for a number of years I really shouldn't be mind you that was a long time ago <laughs> between that and now I was 35 years working with the NHS and running an internet service provider. But uh, notwithstanding, uh, we have uh, a uh, Burko element all wired up. Next, we seal this little plastic lid over it using the gunk that I showed you before. And test it. <laughs> test it. Yeah, all right, looks a bit messy, but it's sealed and safe. And tests fine, all, all testing gear. So yes, I am now gonna call that a day, cause it's about nine o'clock at night. Now, I've been doing other stuff, obviously, of course I've been doing other stuff, I've just been doing this all day. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna put a grommet on here to seal that, or I might do that in a second with just some of this gunk. Um, doesn't need it, but it's just me being overly cautious. This is tightened up onto the grommet here, and then tomorrow we shall test it. Oh, exciting! That's it. A little bit of OCD crept in there, and I just had to do it now. Right, good. Time for a drink. We have power, and what's more, it's all electrically safe as well. Bzz. So we have inside that little Burko element. Uh, I plugged it in a minute ago. It's now, so we're gonna say I started it at 10 to 12. And it's making a noise that Burko sh sh sort of like shh, that sort of you know, good. <sighs> so we now wait and see how long it takes to come up to a boil. This is the HLT, so it will never actually get up to a boil, but well, it might. I don't know. I could boil it and then let it cool down because it this strike temp I think is about 72 or something. You take it out of here and put it into the mash tun and it should drop it. That transfer should then drop it down to about 66, depending on what you're actually making, obviously. So wait and see how long it takes to come up to temp. I've got another, I haven't put the um, PT100 in. That's the thermo well there. Um, and I'll go into that a little bit later. What you might see, this is the Fermo well from the malt miller. And what I've done is actually put a tap inside. 
I've tapped that out to take a thread because uh, the PT 100s I've got I've actually got a a thread on them so I'll stop them falling out right the waiting game starteth it's been going 10 minutes and it's up to 25 and a half say 26 so that's about a degree every two minutes I say a degree every two minutes uh, because it's HLT it won't really um, matter how long it takes to get up to temperature because once it is up to temperature uh, all it then is used for is to go into the mash tun and then for the sparge so I think we're probably going to be all right uh, I think that's a three kilowatt element that one so three kilowatt at 220 volts is over 13 amps but at 240 volts is under 13 amps <sighs> I did test this building can't remember what our supply runs in at but I think we're okay because that's at the moment on a just on a standard three pin a plug where is it over there so we're within our margins good right so uh, we're up to 27 now I will come back when we're up a bit higher as if by magic actually you can't quite see it now uh, that's just down underneath um, Bernard Road Bridge and guess what's in the canal <laughs> another keg I'm gonna go and have that in a bit <laughs> how how brilliant is that go we could start uh, sort of like building microbreweries so yes I'll go and get that in a bit uh, these are the freezers um, we came back and found a freezer that defrosted themselves so they're out there being cleaned it's been 20 minutes now and we're up to nearly 39 degrees so that's not bad so within an hour we're gonna easily be at strike temp uh, probably about 40 minutes we're gonna be at strike temp there you go 39 degrees good 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 coming on well uh, in case you're wondering what the spirit level is doing on there it's because I'm gonna have to make sure I get this level when I calibrate it on here and at the moment this is just a test but what I will need to do is calibrate this so we know how much water is in and it comes out and goes into there and stuff shut up Bailey you're an idiot now I've set <clears throat> this at 75 to represent the strike temperature and it's they are three minutes short of an hour so that ain't bad it's not full it's up to the bottom of that rim there. I should really have put the recirc a little bit higher, but I think I've sussed out a way around that. Um, yeah, maybe. I could probably get about another eight litres in there. I'm gonna test that in a minute. However, happy now, it works and we have, so, Essentially, what I can do, I can say is, I need to set this going about an hour before we start the brew day. And I say we start the brew day. There's a reason for that, which I will bring you up to speed with at some point. Right, Delilah, darling. Yeah. Good, it works. I'm going to top this water up now, see how much I can get in there. I did top it up with, and that was a good guess, about eight litres and so it's taken hang on come on so 10 minutes with eight liters 10 minutes to get up to strike temp again and the thing is i've got a lid on if i had a lid on here it probably would have been quicker uh so that's all right i'm happy with that brilliant and i'll probably take that elbow off or move it around a little bit um hmm. i'm going to call the hlt done are we going to say it's done Delilah, darling, what do we think? Is it done? Yes, yeah, she's nodding. She, what can I say? Um, HLT, done. Mash tongue, mind you, it's 
Not a lot. <laughs> really, is there in a mash tun? Is done. Let's see if my sparge ball works. Uh, all I need now to do is finish off the boil kettle. Everything's pretty much in place. The whirlpool, I'm going to put a filter on the outlet. I've got a, a, a wire sock. Where's the wire sock? There are. Um, so I'm going to do something with this. I might shorten it. I don't know yet. One of those kind of options. And then the final bit is going to be uh, wiring it up. And I've got ideas around this um, for wiring it uh, with some great big earthing tabs. So lovely, nice. What can we say? I'm going to let that go up to boil now, uh, purely for my own um, interest. I'm going to cease this now and we are going to say, HLT, hot liquor tank, you are done. Thank you very much. One day I'll actually like finish a video properly. Um, we are now at boiling temperature. Well, it's a, a little rambling slow boil going on in there, but I can't really show you because I ain't taking that lid off, it's bleeding hot. Uh, so that's an extra half an hour anyway. Uh, yeah, so within an hour and a half, that full thing there uh, has uh, come to the boil, which is, pretty pucker good as far as I'm concerned. One thing I forgot was actually the HOT is done but the mash tun isn't because I'm going to insulate it uh, but not just yet. Just a little extra bonus if you want a way to have a really boring afternoon just try calibrating one of these because um, it's a pain in the yeah and it's actually done by weight, we weighed it, not scales, because I don't think any of these jugs are ever totally accurate, <laughs> far from it, um, but we thought the scale was probably more accurate than the jug, so one kilo is one litre, and the HLT will hold 43 litres, and I'm just up. Uh, warming it all up again, boiling it all up again because um, we need some water for cleaning because we have these freezers <laughs> that defrosted while we was away actually there's another one, I'll show you here oh look, nice fireworks don't know what we're celebrating um, birds don't like it though do they? birds certainly don't like it anyway, uh, yes so, manky shitty horrible uh, freezers uh, cleaned out with some hot water from the hot liquor tank that was boring I've got to do that again on here and no can't just do the same measurements because there's displacement because of the Herms uh, coil and stuff so I mean it won't be far off but to get it perfect we're gonna have to do it one litre at a time again oh happy days Absolutely remarkably, everything seems to be working really, really well. Uh, yes, so, HLT sorted. Mash tun will be kind of sorted. Uh, I'm going to use it as is and then rely on the Herms coil uh, to keep the temperature, but eventually I'm going to insulate it because there's a guy uh, who was kind of like the inspiration for this on Facebook facebook one of the facebook groups done a lovely job i can't remember your name sorry mate boiler is sort of done i'm going to do another video about getting the boiler kettle ready but we're getting there very fulfilling if you like this nonsense <laughs> i wonder whether i might please beg your indulgence and ask you whether you'd click the like thing, you know, the thing. I'm not very good with YouTube, I'm not a video maker, right? But if you do click the like thing, then apparently it makes it more accessible to other people. And if you don't think I'm a complete wanker, um, maybe perhaps consider uh, subscribing to the channel. That's the terms I need to use. Uh, and I've recently set up a, uh, I can't remember what it's called, Patron, Patron account, Pat Patreon, 
Patreon account. Um, I'll put the link down there. So have a look down there. Um, and if you look at madebymartin.co.uk, Martin with a Y, you'll see why I do this kind of stuff. Um, and so it's not just me having a laugh. There is something else behind it. But if you like this sort of rubbish, click like. And um, please think about subscribing. Thanks ever so much. And I'm sorry this video was so long. But um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a video person really. I do this in the hope that it might help some other people who might want to be on the same journey, as it were. All right, that's it now. I'm going to go and have a drink. <laughs> right. Night. Bye. Or morning, depending on when you're watching this, or afternoon. Obviously. Oh fuck it. Shut up, Bailey.